anyone else. Oh my god, my it. dad had this fucking. I used to make him drop me off like halfway down the block. He had this standard car that was so fucking loud, and it was like he didn't know how to drive it, so he'd be <laughs> like pulling up to school like that, and I was humiliated. So I would get off around the block. It was so bad. And then years later, it was tough. But he would he would be driving us home from a party and having no idea that we were drinking, and we were like, <laughs> we're gonna throw up. Yeah, <laughs> he didn't know. <laughs> No, mm, he didn't. Well, he probably yeah. like, knew, yeah. Because yeah. you have to think about that. It's like your parents have to make a choice whether they're going to make a big deal out of it mm-hmm. or not. And they're mm-hmm. probably just happier in the car with them. And yes. Yeah. Like... That's the that's the way our parents played it. Were your parents strict growing up? No. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> my parents just gave me... My parents... I was brought up Quaker, Quaker, so Quaker is like... It's like the gods in the form of an inner light that's in everyone and everything. And it's like, you see the good in everyone. But it got me in so much trouble because my parents would like, if there was like a weirdo that everyone's like, keep your kids away. My parents would be like, do you want to babysit? Like, have (laughs) kids, we trust you. I'm like, mom, I keep getting molested. Leave me alone. (laughs) Holy shit. Like, stop giving to the white guy with dreads. Like, everyone in the world is like, stay away from this person. Oh, that's funny. But they're like, yeah, but they were just, they were very loose. We had, they would like have keggers at our house for us. Oh, sick. Our parents were so strict until like seeing your year yeah like scary strict like we would go into the woods get belligerent drunk and like sleep in the woods with the bonfire and almost yeah. die because we were scared to come home yeah, strict parents make for yeah. sneaky kids yeah, yeah. It, it's not a happy meeting there needs to be a happy meeting between the two and you guys were like yeah. we'll just deal tomorrow with the consequences yeah, yeah. we'll get grounded we're too fucked up. Up. yeah to yeah yeah no yeah we were, we were going did you sneak out yeah yeah well my dad worked overnight shifts my mom fell asleep and i would just bye i'm leaving yeah. i would say i'm going to my cousin's house i would be in the woods we were in yeah. the woods a lot did a lot you party in the woods? We had woods yeah we had woods my high school there was this this avenue it was called rex avenue and it was like there were all these like woods around our school and then rex avenue was a dead end and we would go smoke weed there which shows how absolutely stupid we were mm-hmm. Who goes into a dead end? A dead the end. Cops just come. You can't go anywhere. And then we just have to run. And we didn't get caught, but it was like we're. It was not the brightest kids. <laughs> no, no, we were not bright kids no. either. We I, I will say though, like, I've done, I've done a, quite a few drugs in my time thus far, and I'm still chasing the high of running from the cops. That shit was lit. It was so yeah. fun. And then when you so get caught fun. and you're kind of like not in that much trouble. You're like they in trouble, but you're like a kid, so you're yeah. not in like that much trouble. I never got had to get on probation or anything. I remember one time, my friend Hadley. Had, we were smoking weed at his house and he was like, this was in Philly. He was like, let's smoke outside. And for some reason we brought a like three foot bong outside. I don't know what <laughs> we, again, this was a school for not uh-huh. the smartest kids. <laughs> and we went out and I remember the cops coming and it's like, you're like, do I hide behind this bong or like in front of it? Like, you're just like, <laughs> it's, it's like, you're big. so busted. It's like so tall. Stick flowers like in movie it. Scene. <laughs> it was so huge. crazy. And then like, obviously the neighbors are like, these children are like dragging a giant bong around. <laughs> You just and then, smash it and run. <laughs> and then he was the only one that got arrested because he's the only one that had weed on him. But then they told me they were going to call my parents. So I had to mm. confess to my parents, but then they never called. Oh, that's how they get you. 